Meteorologist Mark Muller is your host for the weather show, Weather Northeastern. Take a look at John Holes from Patchog, taking this snapshot from Patchog, New York. Look at that beautiful evening photo across the Northeast, Patchog, New York, February 14th, Wednesday evening, looking picture perfect. This has been really nice weather lately across the Northeast as we've had our February thaw really looking quite beautiful to say the least and i can pretty much confidently say with the exception for a brief cool down over the weekend we will see more pictures like this so keep those pictures rolling in nice capture there john and taking a look at lucas d from london texas lunar eclipse photos from a couple weeks ago look at these beauties here very nice photos to say the least captures very nice photos and captures, everyone. Let's get right into the precipitation totals. Out west, lots of precipitation, especially in the Pacific Northwest. Widespread one to two inches liquid equivalent back east here, even up through the Ohio Valley, the Appalachians, and into the northeast. Some of this come Saturday evening, Saturday night, will fall in the form of snow in eastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, parts of upstate New York, Hudson Valley, into portions of New England. Let's get right into the pattern. We will be shifting towards this all-important, more troughy weather pattern, troughs out west as well as troughs in the east here. But a ridge will be reforming just for your new work week next week. Let's get right into those snowfall totals across the northeast. I'm gonna stand over here because a lot of our snowfall totals, especially from around Harrisburg all the way up through Scranton, the Susquehanna River Valley here, we will be looking at the potential for some advisory criteria snow possibly here Saturday evening into Saturday night. Portions of the lower Susquehanna River Valley, the Poconos, the Catskills, maybe even as far west here is the I-81 corridor where we could see one to two inches, two to four inches, maybe as much as three to five inches here in the Poconos, the Catskill Mountains. And we'll have to continue to watch these model trends here because we are looking at something very potentially interesting here and this continues on to the northeast but as i said that is the most interesting feature in the forecast period that i have here for you is that snow from around harrisburg maybe even as far northwest as state college but mainly from harrisburg up to scranton maybe as far west as binghamton monticello new york stretching up towards the capital district of upstate new york Parts of the Hudson River Valley, the Mohawk Valley, up into portions of extreme western New England here. But we will have a system riding up the northeast coast here. And Saturday evening, particularly around 5, 6, 7, probably around 4, 5, 6 o'clock here, in, starting in southeast Pennsylvania, south central Pennsylvania, and extending up towards the Poconos, southern Poconos, into after 10 p.m., up towards portions of the Binghamton area, and then over towards Monticello and the Catskills here. So this is something we gotta watch here. This is one of those fast moving systems that could drop a quick accumulation. Ice totals, really not, that's not really what we're looking at here. Maybe a 10th of an inch or less here on Friday as the rain changes to snow, but not looking at really anything major. Into your Friday, here's your Friday outlook. We got those two fronts, stationary front, starting to finally move to the east. That will push those temperatures down later in the day. Places like Binghamton, Scranton, Harrisburg. We'll be following Syracuse, you know, early highs in the 40s, rapidly falling through the 30s, fall to around the upper 20s, near 30 towards Binghamton, Syracuse, and westward. Rain changing to snow showers. The key is snow showers. We're not going to see tremendous amounts of snow here, maybe up to a slushy half an inch in most areas. Into your Saturday. All those systems push to the east here. Take a look at this. We will break out some sunshine along the coastal plain here. Temperatures rising, struggling to get to 40. But inland here, this is where we're looking at the possibility of that snow breaking out later in the day. Places like southern New Jersey, southeast Pennsylvania, the Poconos Catskills will start off with some light snow developing after 4 or 5 p.m. here. Maybe a couple inches, maybe up to two to four, and then three to five in some of those higher elevations here. So we're gonna we're gonna watch for this here, as the system quickly rides up the east coast. It's gonna be a very fast mover. Uh, coastal sections could mix in a little bit here with the rain and snow mix, but what we're looking at mostly 
is uh, the Susquehanna River Valley here into portions of the Mohawk and Hudson River Valleys. And uh, we're going to look for mainly eastern Pennsylvania, southeastern New York here with the accumulations of widespread two to four inch possible here. So we'll continue to watch those models Saturday evening into Saturday night. That's the most interesting time period here. And into your Sunday, that quickly moves out and we warm things up very quickly into the 40s. So any of that snow that hangs around will be a fading memory and melting away very fast into your Monday. Look at this. Warm front moves through the region pretty quickly. Temperatures warm through the 40s and even in the 50s from the Pennsylvania Turnpike on southward here. So that snowfall that falls on Saturday evening will be a very quick fading memory. And we'll get into a very warm weather pattern for next week with many areas cracking 60 degrees. Five day outlook for my hometown viewers, Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York, Northeast Pennsylvania, Binghamton to Scranton. Take a look at this Friday. Your morning rain, maybe a quarter inch, changing to a few snow showers in the afternoon. Temperature falling to around 30, 29 or 30 by 5 p.m. Overnight lows dropping way down there. And then Saturday, look at that. We struggle to reach 30 degrees. Well, maybe late day after about 6 or 7 p.m. We'll have those snow showers develop, late snow, and then eventually snow. And we could be looking at about one to two inches of solid accumulation here in the Binghamton area. The further east you go into eastern Broome County, you'll get into the two to four, especially down at the Susquehanna County, Pennsylvania. And then Scranton, I'm looking at the solid two to four inches likely. And then into your Sunday, this is a fading memory of the snow as we bump it up towards the mid to upper 40s. Into your Monday, look at that 50s. And look at that big number there, 62 degrees for your Tuesday. It's going to be downright warm with scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark. Twitter at WX Northeastern. Google Plus at Media Mark. Thanks for watching.